hurt boxes and hit boxes and Godot 2D are gonna be area 2Ds. So let's go to spear and we'll create a area 2D that we'll make as our hit box. So I'll right click on the spear, add child node, area 2D, and I'll rename this quickly to be hit box 2D. Let's right click it, attach a script. Then on ready, we can do area entered dot connect. And we're going to connect it to on area entered, which is a function we're about to set up. So create function underscore on area entered. This is going to receive an area 2D as the parameter. So P area, area 2D, and return type of void. Okay, so an area entered this area. Which type of areas do we care about? We care about specifically hurt boxes. So if P area is a hurt box 2D, and the type doesn't exist yet, so it should be an error here. Then for right now, we could say something like prints, which is gonna print a message to the console. Uh, why don't we try it like this? That'll work for just picking up that our hitbox is actually hitting the hurt box. So let's go to the orc, and I'm gonna right click here and create an add child node, area 2D. Let's rename this to be hurt box 2D. Let's right click it, attach a script. Okay, now this script, we need to call it class name hurtbox 2 d Now the hurtbox, you can see it needs a collision shape as well. So let's right click and add a child node, collision shape. If we do a capsule shape, which is more of like a humanoid, then we can select capsule shape. The spear also needs a collision shape for the hitbox. So I'm gonna right click here, add a child node, collision shape 2 d We go over to the top right, let's make this a circle shape. And then we'll take the circle shape and move it up to the spear's tip and shrink it. So let's go to output. I'm going to move this down a bit. The, these orcs are actually being hit by the spear, which is good. We can see the position at which that occurred. At least we know uh, what type is hitting what type. And that's pretty much working for that.